Hi, my name is Alana Flowers. I'm a freelance lettering artist and designer based in Brooklyn, New York. And I really love creating bold and unique lettering in a variety of styles. I've worked with brands like Adobe, American Greetings, the Los Angeles Times, and I love creating my work digitally. So I'm so excited to bring you this Vectornator tutorial today, where I'll be creating a spooky Halloween themed piece of lettering with some supporting illustrations. So if you're ready, let's go. So right now I've got my Procreate document open and this is just a very simple, what I like to call skeleton sketch for my lettering. So this is just bare bones, but what I'd like to do for this is add some weight and some nice fun effects that I'll later bring over when we finalize the artwork in Vectornator. So just gonna change my color to black and I'm just going to, I'll turn off my illustration layer so I don't get too distracted visually. I'm just gonna add another layer above this happy lettering here. So for this, I'm just going to do a simple sans serif um, to start. So I'm gonna lower the opacity of this as well. And basically I'm just going to start building around this word. So really letting that skeleton sketch be the foundation that I'm building my letters on and just adding some weight to either side of the letter. So nothing crazy, super simple and really approachable. And we'll move on to the next letter. So for this, the, the top of the A is flat instead of pointy. And then any lines that cross over or overlap that I don't want, I can just go back and erase any of those extra strokes that I don't want. Then moving on to the P, really seeing the weight in the stem of the P, erasing a little bit, and then making sure that we draw in that little empty space. So whenever I have a repeat letter, like I have my P here, I like to just use my selection tool, grab that and hit copy. Then I'm gonna go to my actions menu and hit paste for a nice, quick, easy way to just copy the same letter over again without having to go through the trouble of redrawing it. All right, perfect. So I'm just gonna merge that. So now I'm just gonna turn off that little skeleton layer. So now you can see that we have a nice thick weighted set of sans serif letters for the first word in our piece, happy. I'm just gonna start with drawing like a nice wavy line. And I'm gonna take that line and I'm gonna duplicate it. Cause I want the line to be the same on both sides. Then I'm just gonna add a stroke on the bottom and on the top. So now I've got a stroke that I can repeat to draw the rest of the lettering. A lot of these strokes are straight up and down, so I'll be able to use this same piece in the same stroke over and over again, similar to the way that we copied our P for happy. Same idea would will go for my crossbar. Using this method of duplicating whenever you can really speeds up your process. I've come to find, so I really enjoy creating lettering this way. And again, we're just doing like a sort of curly wavy line, to sort of add to the spookiness of our lettering. So with my A, I'm just going to flip this horizontally so that I can get a nice mirror. 
for the other side. I think I'll just grab that same crossbar from my H and use it for my A. This diagonal for my A can also be the downstroke diagonal for my N. So for the U, I'm just gonna delete the bottom portion so that I can just redraw the curved bottom for my U. And again, this is like our sketch, so totally fine if it's not perfect. We just want to give ourselves a good sense of where our letters are going, what kind of styles we're using for when we bring this over into Vectornator. This helps give a better sense of how our letters are going to look once they're completed. My guides toggle off my skeleton. And I can throw my illustration back on as well. Finish it off with a little bat. Add an extra little spooky factor there. Just roughing it in. So yeah, this is our sketch. All done in Procreate. But remember, this is a pixel-based program. So now we're going to vectorize this in Vectornator. So now we've brought our sketch over from Procreate into Vectornator, and we're ready to start building our final artwork on top of this sketch. So I'm just gonna open my layers panel. As you can see, I've got my sketch on a first layer here at a reduced opacity of 25%. That's just so it'll reduce the visual distraction and so that I'll just be able to start building my final lettering on top. And then on a new layer, I can start building my lettering. So. We're gonna start with this first word, happy, with our block sans serif lettering. So I'm just gonna select my pen tool and just start plotting my points. Then I can take each node and I can manipulate them so that they fit just right the way I like them. I love being able to individually move each one so that it's nice and precise to my drawing and my sketch. And then I can just select that, can switch on my fill, and get a pretty good idea of what that letter looks like with a nice fill to it. Can make any further adjustments. Could also select more than one node at once. So that's basically the idea. I'm gonna plot my points using my pen tool and I'm gonna repeat that process for the rest of my letters. So for my A, it's a little different than the H because the A, as you know, has a space in the middle. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my fill on I'm going to toggle off my stroke. I'm going to make sure both of my shapes are selected. And then I'm going to go into my path menu. And I'm going to select this second option to sort of punch a hole through my original shape with the inside shape that I had drawn. And then I can take this same approach to the letter P because we've got an inside shape for that as well, where the P is hollowed out. And I can adjust again my nodes however I need. And 
Then go back to my path menu and punch that hole. Now, just like we did before with our sketch, I'm just gonna copy and paste so I don't have to waste any time redrawing the same letters over and over again. Any sort of missteps that happen, you can just double finger tap to undo any previous actions. So, so far so good. We've got our word happy drawn out at the top. So now I think I'm going to lock that layer temporarily and start a new layer. This will be where the word haunting will go. So again, just grabbing my pen tool, I'm gonna make sure that my stroke is enabled. I'm just gonna disable my fill temporarily. And again, just going to start plotting those points. Really focusing on the peaks and the dips. So again, controlling those nodes, adjusting my handles. So I can get as close to my sketch as I'd like. And then, like we saw before, we can take this line, copy it, and paste it. So to close this shape, I can select these two lines, go to the path menu, and hit join paths. So now I've got a closure at the top, and I can just take my pen tool, and close it at the bottom. So now I've got a complete shape that I can start copying and pasting. If you want to rotate and snap at a 45 degree angle, you can do so by holding onto the screen I think I'll use this to create my crossbar. I'll just delete any of the points that I don't need by hitting that little trash can. So let's make sure that that's filled. just disable our stroke again. So now you can see how that H has come together pretty nicely. So now we have the base drawn of all of our lettering. So from here, I can fill in my illustrations and then add some color, drop shadow, and other things to make this piece really come to life.
All right, so there you go. Our final artwork made in Vectornator. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the Vectornator channel for more videos on how to use this amazing program.